Hi Sagittarius, so I'm going to do another reading because that other reading was not for everybody. Um, not everybody is dealing some with somebody with an STD. So this energy may be better than the other energy because that other energy was just like not it at all. But it was somebody's karma, so. Um, you got beloved. It says, prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. So some of you guys could be flirting. You could be dealing with someone. You could be, you could have found someone new here. It looks like you got somebody that's on the same level as you. Y'all emotions are in the same... I feel like you and somebody love each other. Honestly, I feel like you guys mirror each other. You guys are very affectionate with each other. I feel like this is somebody that does show you affection. This isn't going to resonate for everybody because everybody's not in relationships and everybody's not being shown affection. Anyways... <clears throat> It's like I feel like you guys have been flirting a lot with each other. You've been getting to know each other. You admire one another. Or it's coming for you. Your life partner is coming for you. So let's see what we got. I feel like you got somebody who is going to love you coming into your life here. Somebody is about to receive a relationship. That's I'm getting that energy. I am. And I feel like you and this person are going to feel the same way about each other. You could even be going on dates right now here. This is like a huge change. I feel like you see yourself being with this person. Yeah. You guys, some of y'all could like to go out to clubs together. Some of y'all are passionate about each other and haven't even slept together. Like, it's just like the passion is there. Um, I feel like you know this new beginning is coming because you've already went through the changes. You could have a Pisces or a Scorpio placement, but you've already felt it coming. Um, you've been seeing a lot of synchronicities. You've let go of your past. You don't want the past. 222 two, two on the computer. And you see it. I feel like it's here. You already know. You're not saying anything because you know a lot, but you don't say much. It's like, I don't feel like this person has physically expressed the way they feel to you, but I do feel like you're tired of dealing with immature people or people that gossip and things like that. I just feel like, you know, you know a lot that you're not saying. You're holding your tongue right now. Some of you know someone's playing games with you. I just, I feel like you know someone's playing games with you. Um, you know something that you're not saying. And this is something that some other people don't know. It's obvious that it's other people, some, what? Okay. So it's obvious other people don't know this because you haven't said it. But you already know something. And I feel like it's because you've already been through your lessons here. You've already completed everything you need to know here. But you know something. You know something because you recognize um, things for what it is. I feel like you've already went through um, your cycles where it may have been pretty harsh for you. Where you knew you had to end something or close out a cycle. But it's like you already know. You know something. You know something's over, you know you're about to receive a new beginning, but you know you've completed a lesson here. But you also know somebody else has completed a lesson here. It's like, I know, I know that this is over, I know that that is over, I know that this person is about to come in and recognize me. I already know. I felt it. I know. I already know. So, um, okay, then why are you watching this if you already know? No, nah, I'm just playing. Okay exactly it's like you've been getting a lot of attention from others and some people have been looking at you oh you know that there's a lot of people that's not happy about your success but i'm also seeing like 
um you got a new relationship coming your way like this is very new i feel like you already know there's a lot of women lying on you there's people that don't want you to succeed there's people that know you're gonna succeed but they they still jealous of you or hate on you but they act like they're friends with you but it's like you've been through too much here and now you're finally receiving what you deserve this is not something you've earned you deserve this you put in too much time and effort into situations and now you're receiving victory and and this is like in all aspects of your life you're healing things you're making new friends you're finally at peace you could even have moved away you started over here and i feel like now this is where the love comes in <clears throat> Now, I do feel like you could be communicating with more than one person, or you could even decide to date. But it's like, you're going to already know who these people are, where they come from, what their backgrounds is, and things like that. And I feel like you got a new uh, past lover here that's stressed out here. Yep, they're hurting, they're stressed, they're thinking about you a lot. It's, it's going to happen. Um, it's like... I feel like they're over, they're overdoing something. They're overdoing something because you're manifesting a new lover in your life. Like this person is already here. I feel like you and this person are gonna feel the same way about each other. It's like I feel like um you're gonna have the same feelings for each other. This is gonna be like healing. It's not a finna just be no regular connection. This is not somebody from your past that didn't commit to you or they didn't put in an effort to keep you. This is somebody that you've manifested. I don't know if you've just been focused on this person. I mean, these you gotta be focused on each other. Like, come on now. You've both been focused on each other. You may know who this person is or you may not, but I feel like you've both been focusing on each other a lot and you're manifesting each other. And it's like, you both feel the same way about each other. Y'all can both be different, come from different backgrounds. You may not even think, or this may be a connection like, we don't even go together, but we go together. You know what I mean? Like, it, what if it was like, I'm going to put it like this so you can understand. Okay, so say like, this new relationship you're going to be in is with a soulmate. So if you have a twin, you already know. But you can have as many soulmates as you want, and they can come and they can go. But it's like, you never expected this person that you're going to be with, you never expected this to be the person you're going to be with. You Say for example, these are different. Prime example. This is you. This is you, right? This is the person that you're about to be with. And this is your twin, right? So you were focusing on your twin. You expect you and your twin to come together, right? But whoever this energy is, they match you, but they're different. Like you didn't expect this person to be your 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 boyfriend or your husband, you know? If we're talking into future references, you never expected it. So just know that this is a um, prepare for your life partner because this is somebody that's going to really make you feel happy. I feel like, you know, God really does work in mysterious ways and you never know what your spirit guides got up their sleeve because whoever this person is, you've, I feel like your spirit guides have focused a lot to bring you two together. And I feel like you're going to have the same mutual feelings though. Like you and this person, you're going to feel the same way about each other. You're going to flirt a lot. You're going to get to know one another. You're going to both have the same values. You're both, you both have went through situations that really broke y'all. Um, and you know, I feel like so because of all of that you've been through, you're focusing. I don't even think you guys are focusing on each other. I feel like you could be like, you could have recently started dating someone new. I feel like um, you've turned your back on the old, though. You've kind of put it into a situation you know something's over. I feel like this was somebody that was very, that could still be jealous here that you ended things with them. But this person never committed to you or gave you any offer. This was somebody that kind of like turned their back on you, chose a toxic connection over you and things like that. So you decided you were going to put things to an end because it's like... You had to go on this journey alone. You decided that either this person was going to heal the way they were or you just had to leave this person alone. It's just, it's just like you tried to heal things and wait on this person. You tried to be patient with this person, but it's like it's done now. 
I feel like um, this person that you're going to be with, you're going to be so fixated on this person. Like, th this person's going to be all you can think about because that's how they feel about you. Like, you feel the same way. You're on the same page. Okay. Okay. So, they're going to just keep walking by. It doesn't matter anymore. So, I feel like... There's somebody that didn't offer you something that's obviously hurting, but it's like they didn't offer you anything or they breadcrumbed you. Um, this person wants to give equally to you now, or so they say they do. Um, I feel like you got... They're stressed out because things are not working out where they are. And they can't stop thinking about you, but they kind of like made the situation end with all their backstabbing, their deceit, and their betrayal. And on top of them not offering you anything stable or genuine. So now that they see that you're focusing on manifesting new in your life, it's like, and this new lover may actually be in your energy. That's why this person is so stressed out now. It's like they want to get rid of a situation or they want to clean up their act and do the right thing. But you're defensive. It's like, no. Like, you know, like, and I know this is going to piss this person off. Like, you're planning, you're starting something new in your life. You're deciding to... You're finally deciding to leave someone behind. Like, at one point, you were willing to start over and be with this person. But it's like, you know it's time to let this person go. It's over with. You you want, you've, you know, you've been doing good. You feel like your life is going in a direction it should be going in. You got good karma coming in. And all you really needed was love. I feel like now, you know there's lovers here. And you may, you may or may not be involving i feel like in a way you may have not been interested in anybody you were dating but for whatever reason you're so focused on whoever this two of cups is to you we could clarify it but we're gonna leave them right there for right now because that's you and this person two 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 i see two 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 right here i don't see the another two but i know you've been seeing that a lot um it's like this person allowed the situation to end you seen ten ten like this person allowed a situation to end and because this person you had to go through a painful ending with this person you're able to start something new now i feel like this person wants to talk to you but they may even be blocked from you spiritually like not even you being just defensive but this person being blocked spiritually and it's like they want to speak their truth to you they want to come in and be honest to you they want to pursue you now and it's like because you've turned your back they're so fucking angry about it but it's like, come on, dude, you, you, you have no hope. You stopped believing in this situation once this person decided they wanted to continue to breadcrumb you continuously. So now you have a new lover in your life. And guess what? They want to come in. Okay. Sorry about that again. I just keep getting interrupted. Okay, so I feel like it's blocked here. Like, this whole... You could have blocked this person or you're just very defensive towards this person or you're holding back, but it's blocked. And I feel like this person doesn't want to come in and just be very inconsistent. This person actually wants to have a conversation with you. Now, I do feel like you may feel like you have no more feelings for this person or you're just not showing your emotions. So you know how to handle your situation here. I feel like you're... You've kind of turned your back on this person because you got tired of this person making impulsive ass decisions. Like, you're holding back and you're growing. You're beautiful. You're a goddess. It's like this person is confused now because this person didn't want to see your value or your worth in the beginning. But now that you've severed ties with this person, they want you back. They feel like it's not over. I just feel like this person doesn't know what you're doing. Like... They're unclear about what you're doing, and they know you're very beautiful. This person is very jealous here. Very jealous. Very jealous. They're unreliable. Very, very jealous. And it looks like they're going to try to fucking do something. Because they see that you're about to receive a new relationship. Like, this is somebody that's fucking selfish. Like, I feel like this person is really miserable. Because it's like, this person juggled you or had the choice to choose you and they didn't. And now that you're fucking moving away, they want to come back toward you. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, you've moved on. You're independent. You're beautiful on your own. You've chosen yourself. This person should do the same. I feel like now that they see you wanting to be happy, they're disappointed. 
they want to come towards you they miss you and things like that but when they have the fucking choice to choose you they did not do so so what do you want now they want to talk let's see what do they want to say they're not fucking happy that's why they're not happy at all they're angry as fuck they're not happy because they want to take action towards you this is your masculine this is your twin and you have a soulmate here that you've been focusing on that's not really that i don't even know if you're masculine they feel it energetically because they can't fucking see what you're doing it's like this person wants to take control. Like, this person was very unsatisfied with you, didn't pursue you, pretty much wasn't happy or felt like they wasn't fulfilled here, they wasn't committed to you, and now they want to. Now they want to take control of their life and pursue you and take you out on dates and show you that they care about you. You know, it's a little too late for that. It's like, they're like, you belong to me. You can't go anywhere. You're mine. What? What? No, no, actually, actually, you were detached from me. You, you didn't show me or tell me how you felt. I kept trying to tell you that I loved you, right? You tried to show this person numerous of times. But it took for you to get with someone else, for this person to really see. You may have a conversation with this person, but it doesn't mean you're going to get back with them. It just means you're going to have a conversation. And it's not always about... Well, yep, this person is not letting go now. It's kind of fucking funny how reverse psychology works, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to focus on this because this is what the main focus should be. This is what your spirit guides are trying to manifest for you. They lost that chance with you. What's this? The magician card and the two of cups. One man's home. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Look at that. You're growing. You're evolving. You're looking beautiful here. And I feel like you got somebody that's on aligned with you. Like, you and this person just go together. You just click. It, I don't know. You Only you'll know. But you, you just go. I feel like um, your masculine is pissed off. This person is very pissed off because they didn't want to change the way they did things. They didn't want to change for you. They didn't want to choose you. This person really pretty much didn't want to pursue you. And now that you're moving on, they're, they're depressed. They're disappointed. They've actually been crying. They're trying to hold on. They want to beg you. Um, and it's like, you're not interested. You know, you're not interested. <laughs> You kind of like giving up on a situation. That's pretty much what you did. You gave up. And it's not like you're a quitter. You don't just give up on things. But you're ready for something new in your life. And it's like no matter how hard this person tries. This person was a magician. This person was a trickster. This person. I'm seeing something that's not going to resonate for everybody. But this person got someone pregnant. And it's like there's no way in hell you're going to go back to this person. So this person lost focus. And they pretty much plan to do something here. They made the wrong judgment call, and now this person is having to deal with their decision. Yeah. And now they're very fucking disappointed. Some of them got someone pregnant, and now they're disappointed. Some of them did other things or just didn't choose you, and now they're disappointed. Some of them see that you're fucking happy, and now they're angry. Like, that's some bullshit now. I don't... That a uh, hmm. they just been watching you, like stalking you, like real bad stalking, and they're getting very angry. Like all they can focus on is fucking stalking you and watching you and figuring out who you're talking to, and they're just so jealous. Like oh, this person is fucking depressed and miserable because you're starting over, you're starting new, like, and they can't let you go now. So, what are they going to do? And nothing's going to work here. And I feel like that's why they're crying. Some of them are crying, literally. Because you're not giving them attention. They know that it's over and they fucked up. And there's nothing you can do to fix this. Like, it's done. They don't want it to be over with the world card. But it's over. Like, literally. You're done. You're done. You're not giving them attention. You're defensive as fuck when it comes to even showing them love. Like, no. You're done. Now, you're looking for 
a situation that you want to go towards somebody that's willing to commit to you somebody that's willing to see their actions or them being disloyal and show you or apologize or even change their ways but not this person it's over you don't want this person it's unrequited it's unrequited what does this person have to say though with the king of swords uh, I had a lot of responsibilities. I had a lot of burdens. You know, I'm overwhelmed. I'm depressed. It's over with. You know, I've I, I've went through a lot here, and I'm ready. I, I just I I want you. You know, like I can't live without you. I I want to come out of hiding. I want to heal things. I want to make things right. I can't stop thinking about you, and it's like. I know that I was very distorted, or I know that I didn't work hard, or I know that I wasn't. I didn't give you the commitment you wanted and I know that I wasn't I was immature and I breadcrumbed you but I want to work on this now but this new beginning you have is going to fucking destroy this person yeah yeah they're, they're, they are fucking hurt. this is their karma hmm so that's what I got for this reading Sag I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll see you guys later bye